you know, you know, I went to war to protect America's rights and freedoms. So I take it personally when a five-time draft-dodging coward like Donald Trump tries to take away tries to take away my rights and freedoms in return, especially when it concerns my daughters. My girls, gamer girl Abigail and queen of the monkey bars, Miley, are everything to me. But they would never have been born without access to reproductive care. Because after 10 years of struggling with infertility, I was only able to have them through the miracle of IVF. But now, Trump's anti-woman crusade has put other Americans' right to have their own families at risk. Because if they win, Republicans will not stop at banning abortion. They will come for IVF next. They'll prosecute doctors. They will shame and spy on women. And if you think that's far-fetched. Just look up what happened in Alabama last year. So let me say to every would-be parent, I see you. I'm with you. And together, in November, we'll send a message to old cadet bone spurs. <laughs> Stay out of our doctor's offices, and where we are at it, out of the Oval Office, too. Look, my struggle with infertility was more painful than any wound I earned on the battlefield. So how dare a convicted felon like Donald Trump treat women seeking health care like they're the ones breaking the law? How dare J.D. Vance criticize childless women on cable news, then, then vote against legislation that would have actually helped Americans to start families? How dare the GOP endanger the dreams of countless veterans whose combat wounds prevent them from having kids without IVF? punishing our heroes for their willingness to serve. It's simple. Every American deserves the right to be called mommy or daddy without being treated like a criminal. Kamala Harris believes that. So let's make some history and elect her in November. God bless America.